everyone seems to be betting on electric as the future of cars, and while no one knows if or when that will come to pass, it's too big a risk to dismiss the trend. Even Toyota, which has focused on hybrid for today and fuel cell for tomorrow, is now scrambling to get an EV plan on track. Hyundai, another believer in fuel cell tech, is also slightly behind the curve in EVs. Seeking to address investor concerns that it is lagging rivals in the battery-powered green car race, Hyundai said today that it will launch a long-range electric vehicle with a range of 500 km per charge after year 2021, Reuters reports. Hyundai and Kia also have plans to roll out 31 eco-friendly models by 2020, up from a previously intended 28. The new models will include three plug-in hybrid vehicles, which come on top of eight full EVs and two fuel cell vehicles. As previously reported, an EV version of the new Hyundai Kona compact SUV will debut in the first half of 2018, and it will come with a range of 390 km. That's a big improvement from Hyundai's previous and first mass-market battery-powered car, the Ionic Electric with a range of 169 km, far below the range touted by the likes of GM with the Chevrolet Bolt and Tesla. The Newswire also said that Hyundai has confirmed its report that the Korean car maker is developing its first dedicated electric vehicle platform, which will allow the group to produce multiple models with longer driving ranges per charge. But all of the company's efforts on hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles has not gone to waste. Hyundai has unveiled a near-production version of an SEV SUV with a zero-emissions range of more than 800 km per charge, nearly double the 415 km of its current Tucson SEV. The futuristic midsize SUV will be launched in Korea early next year, followed by the US and Europe. A SEV sedan is also being planned. Fantastic tech, but fueling remains a hurdle. For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.